Hi amateur astronomers. If you're like me, you probably like to be outside looking through your telescope, but you don't enjoy very much the process of taking it out and bringing it back. Uh, with a heavy scope like this, it's pretty tedious, and I had to come up with a better way to do it. In this video, I'll show you my old way, which was long, so I'll taking all the separate parts out, assembling it after I was done, taking it apart, bringing it back in the garage. I have a better way. Watch the following video. The initial part of this video is in 4x speed, so everything takes four times as long as what you're seeing on the screen. It also doesn't include the retrieving of things out of the garage, so it probably takes eight to ten times as long to actually do this as what you're seeing. These first three steps, bringing the tripod out, the equatorial head, and screwing this platform in, uh, I got so tedious that eventually I took to carrying this whole three-part setup out uh, weighs about 85 pounds, and if you've got a bad back like me, it's torture carrying this in and out like this. Threads are very long getting this thing on. And then we start dragging other things out. Okay, we're going to bring the counterweight bar out. That again has very long threads, very fine pitch threads too that are hard to get going. And then the actual counterweight goes on. Now we need power to the telescope, so an extension cord's coming out for the AC power, which powers the equatorial head. Here comes a card table out. I'm going to set that up. I need some room to spread out these two briefcases full of stuff. One has eyepieces and one has electronics. DC battery to power some other electronics. Here comes the 8 inch edge Celestron tube out. It's very lightweight, only about 12 pounds. Now we're going to put a dew shield on and put the handset on. And that pretty well completes the mechanical setup. We're about ready to go. Okay, so after that ordeal of carrying, splitting everything up, carrying it out, it takes forever to do. I said, I can't keep, keep doing that. That's just crazy. So I looked at my tripod and said, how do I lift it? And this right here is a very sturdy platform. It's, it's cast and it's got a flat bottom. So I needed something to go underneath it that would pick it straight up in the air. Um, so this is a twin arm that keeps this arm right here level as it goes up and down. I'm going to crank it up here and you can watch it go up. And then it picks it up. My motor barely has enough power to lift this much weight. As a matter of fact, I have to help it a little bit. I haven't been able to find a motor that's strong enough to lift this, but now it's up in the air and it rolls, and that is a tremendous improvement. Okay, when I originally designed this, um, there's a screw here that raises this arm up and down, and I used my Bosch and put a socket on it, and I just attached to the bottom of this screw down here. And that had no problem powering it up and down, but the disadvantage was I had to go underneath each time and attach it. I've now attached an electric motor, a car battery, and there's an automotive switch right here on a flexible stock. Uh, all I have to do is press the button and it starts rising. Press the button the other way, it goes down. This is the screw. This came from a jack, an automotive jack. Uh, it's on a pivot here and here. It's an electric seat motor. Um, all it does is turn the screw, which pulls this arm down, which raises the whole telescope. That's going down. That's going back up. Uh, I have a small automotive battery. Uh, it's hooked up back to the switch, back to the motor. And it also comes out on this cord right here. And this is what goes to the telescope and powers the telescope. Everything gets powered through this connector right here. I then wanted to have my Craftsman toolbox that carries all of my eyepieces and tools and the electronics and everything. So I just welded up angle iron and made a frame that was the exact size of the bottom of the toolbox. 
Okay, and then we got the toolbox sitting on the platform. It's got all my eyepieces, all the electronics, all the filters, anything else I needed. Uh, then I wanted to put a iPad on here, so I welded on a tripod, which goes on here. And Orion makes this cool accessory right here that holds an iPad, so I can have the iPad out here controlling the telescope. Now that I have my iPad here, I need power to it though, because usually Gene leaves it with no power on it, so I have to charge it up when it's out here. To do that, the power lines return back from the battery back to here, and they power a USB port that's right here, and another USB port right here. This USB port powers their iPad, this one powers a flexible light, which plugs in here. And then it's a red light that will shine on all the eyepieces. I can turn it on and off. Uh, red light does not affect your vision as much as other lights, so you can have it on and still have night vision. I also have a battery tender right here, so when I roll the cart back in, I just pull the cord out plug it in and it re automatically recharges the battery. The next step in making this easier to use was having have all the electrical plugged in at once. So when I carry it out, I flip a switch and I at most have one or two other things to plug in. The main power from the battery from the car comes over and it plugs in right here. Now I have power to this. These are called Anderson power poles, and they're very secure fitting electrical connectors. This panel right here has three on the bottom that are always on, and then nine more on top that are not powered unless this switch is on. My telescope power goes into one of the bottom ones. That way I can't accidentally turn the telescope off by hitting this switch. Okay, now we have power to that. Um, the other things that I plug in, one of them, is my Wi-Fi. This plugs in to any of these up here. And now I have power to my Wi-Fi. Uh, that allows me to plug the phone cord into the bottom of the handset. And now instead of controlling the telescope with the handset, I'm controlling it with the iPad, which is much easier. Uh, got a whole catalog in it. I can find almost anything. All I have to do is locate it on the iPad, touch it, hit go to, and the telescope goes to it automatically with no wires. I have many more ports here if I want to add dew heaters. Um, I've got a few other things that aren't connected right now. When I, you saw the video, the fast forward video of me going out, that was just mechanically getting it out there. I still had to plug everything in. When I take this out, I roll it out, flip a switch, and I'm pretty good to go. Okay, I'm going to show how easy it is with my new system to take it out. Basically, I'll come over, raise it off the ground, do this. have to be a little bit careful with clearance on the top. I sometimes have to go like this to fit out the garage door. Wasn't that amazing? 
Thanks for watching.